guys, it's Andrew with MyWatchAddiction.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Constellation Diver Chronograph from South Baltimore Watches. This is actually a prototype that I've received in. I've received in actually two of them, two different color combinations to take a look at with you guys on the channel and uh, share with you while it's on its watch tour with watch reviewers. Now guys, this chronograph is going up on pre-order here, February 17th time frame. But if you stick around to the end of the video, I will show you a little bit of a trick on how you can get $100 off one of these. Plus, we have a giveaway today, guys. Today, we're gonna to be giving away a Sal Baltimore hat. Brand new Sal Baltimore hat, still has cardboard, still brand new, doesn't have any lice, bugs, hairspray, anything from this luscious head of hair. So guys, Stick around to the end of the video and I will show you how you can pick this guy up. But before we get started on taking a look at this Constellation Diver, guys, let's take a look and see what's on my wrist. The watch of the day for this South Baltimore Constellation Diver of course has to be a South Baltimore watch. This is the Torsk Diver Meteorite DLC coated meteorite that I received as a part of their Kickstarter campaign for the Torsk Diver. Now guys, I have not done a review on this watch, but it's gonna be coming up shortly. Again, this is the Torsk Diver DLC Meteorite. All right, guys, so there it is. There's the Sal Baltimore Constellation Diver Chronograph from Sal Baltimore Watches that we received in to take a look at. This prototype will actually be going on pre-order February 17th, 2020. So I wanted to get this video out for you guys so you had a chance to jump in on it if it was something that you guys are interested in. Before we dive into this too much further, let's talk about the size a little bit. This is actually a smaller watch coming in at 41 millimeters in diameter. Has a lug to lug length of 48 millimeters and then a 20 millimeter width on this stainless steel bracelet or between the lugs uh, on a regular strap if that's what you choose to go with. Now this is 316L stainless steel full solid link bracelet you can see the push pins right there and then I actually love this thing this is the clasp on the bottom of this guy with the Sal Baltimore logo engraved right there now a couple things I'm going to point out about this clasp one I have a very similar clasp on the Sal Baltimore Torsk diver that I'm wearing right now and both clasps actually have a diver's extension. The difference though is that on my Torsk diver, this is just a push button. This is actually a slide lock on this Constellation. So you have to pull it back and pull out that diver's extension on this guy. So in, you can see there's not a whole lot of play with that diver's extension, which is nice. It does take a little bit to get used to that slide lock for this diver's extension though, if that is something that you use and then you can see right there also we have some micro adjustments in the clasp itself. One other thing I will point out about this clasp, I have, as I mentioned, I have this clasp on the Torsk Diver that I'm wearing as well as another watch. One of the, my only real complaint about this type of clasp is that this hard edge right here, you can see this hard edge. For me personally, just the way I wear the watch tends to catch on things. It's not horrible, it's just one of those things that kind of annoys me. Um, these clasps have some real hard edges to them, so it doesn't fit the curvature of my wrist as smoothly as some clasps could, but a great clasp nonetheless. While we're here in the back, we can see if I can get a good shot of this. Actually, let me open this guy up and see if we can get a better one. That is the Constellation Star. Uh, engraving or etching, I guess you would say, on the back of this, on this case back. And that screw down case back actually goes with the screw down crown that's in this watch to give this watch 
a 660 foot water resistance or 200 meters on this guy and you can see a screw down crown right there and of course everywhere you can see we have the T for Torsk I'm sorry not Torsk <laughs> Sao Baltimore uh, Sao Baltimore T the logo that they use right there and then we've got some pushers right here now these pushers operate the Mecha Quartz Hybrid Movement that's in this watch. This watch is actually using a Seiko VK64 Mecha Quartz Movement. Now, if you guys aren't familiar with the Mecha Quartz Movements, they're kind of a hybrid between an automatic or mechanical watch and a quartz watch. The, the theory being is that it gives the benefits of both worlds. It gives the fluidity and the flow of a mechanical watch, yet the accuracy of a quartz watch. Now the subdials on this reverse panda, and actually all of these Constellation divers, subdial right there at the three o'clock is a 12 hour subdial, and then the subdial at the nine o'clock position is a 60 second, 60 minute, I'm sorry, subdial for the chronograph function. Now, if we take this watch at an angle a little bit, you'll be able to see this, this dial has some depth to it. That's due in part to that multi-layer dial that Sal Baltimore tends to use in some of their watches. They used it, something, a very similar design in their Torsk Diver, and now they're bringing it back with this Constellation Diver. And you see the inner dial right there inside of that, I guess you would call it a chapter ring, um, is raised a little bit along with those applied indices are raised a little bit. So it gives a little bit of depth to this watch. Now, this Constellation Diver comes in four different color combinations. We have the stainless steel bracelet on the stainless steel case. This color combination for this dial is actually the reverse panda. They have a panda color as well, which is the white dial with the black subdials. And then they have a mystic blue and guys, we have the sea green. This is the sea green Torsk Constellation Diver. Now, the one thing that I really, really like about these Constellation Divers from South Baltimore is the loom. Both the subdials in the chapter ring, along with the applied indices and the minute and hour hands, they all have loom in them. Now, that low light visibility is thanks to Swiss C3 Super Loom. Swiss C3 Super Loom on that chapter ring, subdials, indices, minute and hour hand. Now, if you are, guys are curious how you can pick one of these watches up, they are going on pre-order. Pre-order officially launches on Monday, February 17th at 8 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. But guys, here is a little trick. I'm going to post up a link in the description section below on this video to South Baltimore's wait list and their email list. If you sign up to their waiting list, not only do you get early access to the pre-order, but you also get $100 off the pre-order price. So guys, even if you opt not to pick one of these up, it's worth just signing up for their email list just so you can see what South Baltimore is up to. You get email notifications uh, whenever they drop something new. So I would definitely, definitely recommend doing that. Who knows, maybe your friend or somebody else wants to get $100 off one of these bad boys. Definitely worth just signing up. Now, guys, as I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I promised you that... I would be giving away that Sal Baltimore baseball hat. So if you guys want to find out how to win that Sal Baltimore baseball hat for yourself, very, very easy. You have two things that you have to do. You ready? The two things you have to do to win that Sal Baltimore baseball hat, which I will send to you absolutely free of charge, no postage. I'll take care of postage. I'll take care of packing it goes straight to you free of charge. Two things you have to do. One, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. And two, you have to post up in the comments section below what you like about this Sal Baltimore Constellation 
diver. What things do you like? Is there one thing? Do you like the crown? Do you like the bezel? Do you like the stainless steel? Do you think it just looks pretty? Comment in the comment section below what exactly you like about the Sal Baltimore Constellation Diver, and I will enter you in a random drawing to win that Sal Baltimore watch. Not watch. I said that before. Not a Sal Baltimore watch. I'm not sending you a Sal Baltimore watch because I'm keeping it for myself because I like the Sal Baltimore watches, but I will send you a Sal Baltimore hat. So comment in the comment section below what you like about this Constellation Diver from Sal Baltimore watches. We'll do a drawing probably here in a couple of weeks. I'll announce that ahead of time so you guys can queue up and wait for that. Um, Actually, you know what? Why don't we make this a little bit easier? When I do the review of my Torsk Diver right here that I got on the Kickstarter, I will also do the drawing for the Sal Baltimore hat. So guys, definitely come back, check those out. Again, you have to be a subscriber. Comment in the comments section down below what you like about this Sal Baltimore Constellation Diver. Anyway, guys, I've been talking long enough. I am going to get out of here. I hope you guys have a great week, and we will see you soon.